After three weeks battling one of the deadliest wildfires in our nation's history, the campfire is officially out. Tonight, crews in Northern California continue to sift through the damage, and the people who escape are contemplating their returns. Our next Sturdivant sat down with one of those survivors. She got out just in time, and she found herself to Metro Atlanta, thanks to the help of some friends. Kathleen Battiali has called Paradise, California home for 17 years. And I love it. Small town, awesome, awesome people. But life as she knew it changed November 8th. And you work at the high school, special education teacher, um, and, and I guess everything was, was fine for the, for the most part. It was part, great. Right? Um, it was great. Yep, yeah, I was getting ready to go to work. It was um, 8 in the morning ish and the sky just started re turning really weird um, really fast and then we just hear um, pow pow propane tanks. What Kathleen couldn't see at first were flames that engulfed the entire area. She immediately left with her roommate. Super dark. You couldn't tell what was going on. Um, you didn't really see flames. Just just the colors in the sky were weird and the traffic and then we thought we were done. Okay, cool. We made it, you know, and then all of a sudden um, both sides of the road is on fire. The wildfire in Northern California has been labeled one of the deadliest in the U.S. At least 85 people were killed and 249 unaccounted for. The flames ripped through 240 square miles of dry brush and timber. Thousands of homes devastated and many without a place to stay. Everything is gone. Kathleen was staying with a friend nearby when she got a call from friends in Marietta. My friend Gary, um, Kathleen, how you doing? And we've been friends for 20 something years, probably closer to 30. And he heard about it and he goes, you need to come here and get out of that smoke. They bought her a one way plane ticket to Atlanta. Since she arrived Friday, they've been doing what they can to help her get back on her feet. She says she plans to head back soon and that the tough part will be seeing her students for the first time since the fire. We'll cry for sure. In Marietta, Nick Sturdivant, 11 Alive News. And Kathleen is currently raising money to help her rebuild her life. And here at 11 Alive, we are also taking part in efforts to help victims of these destructive wildfires. This along with our parent company, Tegna, we're raising money through Global Living's Fire Relief Fund. You can visit 11alive.com slash California giving for more information.